So far, all of the sheets that we've created, uh, we've actually created inside the same file where we had our name boundaries. We just let them all create in the same location. Sometimes that can be very beneficial. It's quick, it's easy, it's kind of our default setup. But you may have a need to store those sheets, the drawings or the sheet models in a separate file. One good example for this may be to lay out your sheet uh, or your name boundaries in one file uh, and maybe those same name boundaries are going to be used for all the sheets on your project. Traffic control sheets, uh, your, your primary sheets, maybe some drainage sheets. And you want to call all of those same name boundaries, but actually put the resultant sheets into different files. So let's talk a little bit about how we could do that. We're going to go back to our main model. We do have to be in our main model to process sheets, even though we're running them from our name boundary manager. The profile view and the plan view have to be visible, so I've gone back to there. Now we're going to create a second set of drawing and sheet seeds files or models out of this, or end up with some separate sheets, from these same existing boundaries that we've already used. So I'm going to go back into the tool. I'm going to go ahead and select the same boundary just like we're doing before and I'm going to run the create plan and profile drawing. I am going to make sure this time to turn on the show drawing dialog option and run that. Um, because I have that show drawing dialog option on, this dialog has popped up. Now, so far we've pretty much accepted the defaults that we have set up on these dialogs other than we turned on the add to sheet index earlier. What we're going to do now is we're going to adjust some of these other values. Now if this is a regular thing that you do, you could certainly set up this in your seed file so it automatically did what we're going to override manually here. Now what we're going to do is currently our drawing model for both our plans and our profiles is set to go to the active file. But we can override that by turning on this option and, and notice that it currently says active file. We're going to override that and we can tell it to go to a different file. I could open that file if it already existed on my machine or I could create a new file. I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. And we'll call this, uh, let's go over to the folder where I am writing this data. So we'll put that in here. and we will call this file uh, plan and profile sheets and we'll call this uh, instead of plan and profile sheets, let's just put this into plan and profile sheets and we'll just call this only so that we know that it's just got the sheets in it. And we'll go ahead and save that out. Um, now, what we've just defined to go there is not actually the sheet, but the drawing model. I'm going to go ahead and put my drawings and my sheet models all in this other new file here. So this is my plan view drawings. Here's my profile drawings. I'm going to push those to that same file. It already exists, so this time I can just browse out and open that file, which is this new one right here we just created. And I'm going to do the same thing with my sheet models. So I'm going to go ahead and send that sheets out to that same file. We'll grab that folder where we have that data at and grab that file. So I'm going to have my name boundaries in my current file, which is underscore plan and profile sheets. And I'm going to write all of the resulting sheets to underscore plan and profile sheets only dot DGN. These could have gone to three separate files. I'm just choosing to put them to there. Click OK. Let it process. So it's going ahead and building the sheets and writing them out to those other files. Drawings are being annotated in the profiles, and that process is complete. Let's close.
close my name boundary dialog and we see our plan and profile sheet that's been generated here and notice that we are in a separate file now if I go back and I look at this file you'll see that there is no default view in here there's no default model in this drawing all it contains are my drawing and my sheet models that we've asked it to create. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.